Hey, Space Cadets, this week we had a request for Can I Want More? So here we go, let's have it. So we've just got two chords there. So I'm just playing an E7. Just taking a C7 shape, moving it up. It's a fifth fret. And then just playing a D just across the seventh fret. D, G and B string, so just got, just flatten your finger, third finger to get that. Just hitting the open string. So go. But the trick with this is to add a tremolo effect to really get the sound. So this makes this, so before the chord just sounds like this. Now with the tremolo, you get this. You get this kind of wobbly sound, which makes it a lot cooler. So you got. Okay, and that just keeps on going. And then you've got a little breakdown section and it's the same chords. So with these chords here, where we jump forward. So where are we, this section here. Where we've got, there we go. D7, D. So the whole song is just based around those two chords. All right, so let's grab the bass. So the bass part is proof that there's no need to be complicated. We've just got three notes. Here we go. Just playing B to E and then B, D, E. Seven and seven, seven, five, seven. And then if we skip forward to that section where we've got, here we go. So we're playing uh, this. So just playing. So just two notes with a note in between. Just E and D again. So just seven. Passing note. What's going on to get you to the next note? Perfect and simple. Okay, next the keyboards. So here comes the keyboard part. Just basing, nice and simple, based around what's called the E Mixolydian scale for you jazzers out there. Uh, it's basically taking an E major scale and making that next to last note, this one, flat. So it's not C, it's okay, it's kind of a bit rockier and instead of so that's the scale and you're just basing so over the E chord you're emphasizing these notes so and you hit the D chord you get the F sharp which is the D chord note so just following the chords really A is a note from the D chord which one so Land back on the E chord, you get a B, okay, which is in the E chord. So it all fits together, you know, and then you go. On the last one, it sounds like there's a little double note. Just makes it a little more interesting. Same basic thing, just a B and a D. But uh, great song, and there you go, that's this week's Deep Dive. Cheers!
Yeah.